The aftermath today of yet another airstrike in Gaza. More Palestinian civilians dying in a conflict that began with Israeli civilians dying. A conflict in which both sides are accused of breaking the laws of war. I'm deeply concerned about clear violations of international humanitarian law that we are witnessing. Let me be clear. No party to an armed conflict is above international humanitarian law. The laws of war are based largely on the Geneva Conventions, agreed in 1949 and subsequent protocols. And a central idea is that civilians must be protected. The civilian population shall not be the object of attack. So let's look at Hamas. Well, on October 7, it slaughtered more than a thousand Israeli civilians. It also kidnapped more than 200 people. The law says the taking of hostages is prohibited. Hamas also fires rockets on civilian areas. The law says indiscriminate attacks are prohibited. So that's Hamas. What of Israel's response? Israel's attacks may well be against the laws of armed conflict. They may be targeting civilians, there may be indiscriminate attacks that don't distinguish between civilian and military targets, or they may be disproportionate. Israel's accused of targeting hospitals it claims are used by Hamas. The law says medical units shall be respected and protected at all times, unless they're being used for acts harmful to the enemy. Israel is accused of imposing collective punishment on Gaza by restricting food and fuel, something it denies. The law says collective penalties are prohibited. And what of the thousands of civilians killed in Israeli airstrikes and what it says are military targets? Well, the law bans loss of civilian life, which would be excessive in relation to the concrete and direct military advantage anticipated. In other words, attacks must be proportionate. And many Arab countries say they're not. But Israel's prime minister, meeting his Bulgarian counterpart today, said his army operated in accordance with the highest standards of international law. And while Israel is doing everything in its power to get the civilians out of harm's way, Hamas is doing everything in its power to keep them in harm's way. One thing is clear. Israel's allies still feel the need to say it must follow international law and do more to protect civilians. James Landau, BBC News.